to Investment Banking Insights. This is the only show absolutely dedicated to helping you learn both the technical and the non-technical aspects of the investment banking process. My name is Alex Mason, and I am your host. Thank you so much for joining me. Today, we're going to be talking about accrued compensation. Walk me through $10 of accrued compensation. Now, this is similar in concept to the last episode where we talked about walk me through $10 of depreciation, but it's just a little bit different. And I want to walk you through what the, that difference is and just the problem itself. It'll help you get some practice in terms of how to answer these kinds of questions for investment banking interviews. So let's go ahead and go to the whiteboard. Okay, so first of all, we're going to look at our three financial statements. So you have your income statement, your cash flow statement, and your balance sheet. So the first thing we wanna look at, this is $10 of accrued compensation. First of all, what is accrued compensation? That just means that a company owes some kind of salary or bonus or other type of financial pay to employees but hasn't actually paid them yet. So remember when a company owes something, that just sound like, oh, that's on the balance sheet, right? Because that's a liability. The company owes somebody money. So over here, you have your assets, your liabilities, and your equity. And so accrued compensation goes up by $10. What does that mean? That's a liability. Accrued compensation. Accrued comp. And so this is going to go up by $10. So we're going to take a break from the balance sheet for a second and go over to the income statement. So on the income statement, this is an expense, right? This is something that has to be paid. Therefore, it's going to go in turn into the income statement as an expense. So we have revenue, you got your cost of goods sold and your operating expenses. So that's going to be impacted. So operating expenses, they're going up by $10, right? Crew compensation. And remember, if you subtract your cost of goods sold and your other expenses from your revenue, you get operating profit. So operating profit is going to go down by $10. Remember, so expenses increase, profit goes down, right? So operating profit goes down by $10. Let's go ahead and assume a tax rate of 30%. So taxes would be $3. And so your net income here is gonna go down by $7. So net income is down by $7 as a result of this $10 increase in expenses. Remember our net income flows up to the top of the cash flow statement. So net income is down by seven, but this is a non-cash expense. Remember that the company hasn't actually paid out cash for it yet. So we have to add back this non-cash charge. So if we add back the accrued comp of $10, that's going to give us a change in cash of positive $3. So this is operating cash flow, goes up by $3 as a result. Now remember, when your cash goes up, that's an asset. So that connects to the asset side of the balance sheet. So your cash goes up by $3. Now remember, the balance sheet must balance 100% of the time. So cash is going up by $3 on the asset side. On the liability side, we already talked about accrued compensation being a liability. And so that is going up by $10 by definition of the, of the problem. And so something has to be going on here. And in this case, it's equity. So our net income flows over to the equity in terms of retained earnings. So retained earnings is down by $7. I'm just going to write out the basic equation here. Assets equal liabilities plus equity. Right? So assets are going up by three. 
liabilities are going up by 10 and equity is going down by seven. So this balances, right? Three equals 10 minus seven. So that's how you walk through accrued compensation. It's very similar to walking through $10 of depreciation, except instead of your property plan and equipment being on the asset side going down in value as an asset, you have a liability going up in value as a liability. So that's accrued compensation in this case. So that's what I got for you today here on Investment Banking Insights. Join us next time for more uh, problems, interview questions like this. We're going to be going through a lot of content here throughout the summer. So I'm just very excited. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.